Hearts, though, making the early progress. As it's flashed into the box and towards Cole, and Hazard holds on. Berra threw himself at it with the, the right boot. Christie! Oh, what a goal! Ryan Christie repeats the trick in the semi final, and perhaps more history. Celtic's record breakers! Well, he scored the goal against Aberdeen in the semi final here. For me, that betters it. That is just fabulous. Sensational from Ryan Christie. Just always drifting in the pitch, always looking to get on it. But when he does, oh. my what he just unleashes a thing of beauty that just leaves Craig Gordon with no chance. See him in the pitch, it's a nice take. Head up, and then that. Incredible. Comes the corner again. Oh, 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 yeah. oh, it was. Celtic penalty. Yeah, it's come off Berra. Scored a penalty equaliser in last year's final. And odds on Edouard to put Celtic on the brink of more history. Oh, that's incredible. It's Penenka. It's nonchalant as you like from odds on Edouard. And before the half hour, Celtic are now all so close to 12 straight trophies. How cheeky can you get in a pressurised situation? I know they're one nil up, and I know they're the dominant team, but you still have to do exactly what Edward did. Craig God not happy, goalkeepers don't like that. That is exquisite from Odson Edward. I mean, as deft, as cheeky as you like. simply underlines their supremacy in recent years. And here they come again with the galloping ire. Christie's there. Really nice early ball, Edouard. But for Craig Gordon was making it three. Ah, how could panicked. And didn't get any height or distance in the clearance. Just booted it to Edward. If he got a bit of height, I'm sure he gets it past Gordon. Good play by Eddie White over on that far side. Naismith and Boyce in the middle. Others have arrived now. There's Halliday. It's not the worst ball. It's Boyce! Hearts back in it! What a start to the second half! And Liam Boyce gives Hearts a chance! Well, Celtic have not had to defend much in this game, and we've seen in two or three occasions where that vulnerability is still there. I mean, just said about nicking the ball high up, and Eddie White does ever so well. And eventually, Halliday just hangs up a lovely ball, and if you put the balls in the box, and in the areas, this man will go on the end of it, and Boyce just directs a brilliant header down low into the net, and Hearts from nowhere right back in it. It's a good header, isn't it? Here come the holders, and it's Taylor, and it's a good save by Gordon. Edouard put it straight at him, either side, and Celtic have their two-goal lead back. It's well held as well, isn't it, from Craig Gordon? Yeah, well, you do wonder if Boyce's goal will sow the seeds of doubt. In fact, there they are, and now Ginelli is just on the pitch. It's a glorious opportunity, which he spurns. 
What a chance! But what a mess by Julian and Duffy. Julian and Duffy just all over the place, getting in one another's way. And from Ginelli again, it's another good corner! Yeah. Oh, the claim and it's over the line, Celtic clear! All eyes on John Beaton! That's Christie has got back there, Liam. Oh, it's in! It's a hard score! They're level! From two down! Hearts are back in the cup final! And two apiece! It's just incredible scenes, it really is. I mean, get round the back here, and I'm sure it's Christie back on the line, but Hawkeye here today spots it just over when you see that, and from nowhere, as I say, the turnaround is absolutely incredible in this cup final. Hey! Hey! by Brown, John Beaton sounds the full-time whistle, and it's extra time for the first time since 2006 to decide the William Hill Scottish Cup final. Corner from Christie. Oh, it's attacked by Brown, and it goes! And it goes! Griffiths gets it! Griffiths scores what could be a historical goal for the quadruple treble chasers! The man, the moment! The stage is Lee Griffiths's. We said that the man that loves adversity, he just changes games, he loves scoring goals, he is razor sharp, let me tell you, because Brown attacks this corner brilliantly, gets a header, somehow Hearts keep it out, and could that be the goal that turns around Celtic's fortunes? Ollie Lee's free kick. Here comes Hazard, he's missed it! Big chance, and it's another big goal! Hearts are level again! Another cage rattler! This time driven! Celtic are just all over the place. They can't give away free kicks because they're in trouble every time they do. I mean, it comes in, it's Kingsley down the back post, I'm sure it is, who gets ahead on it, he's brave, but he's not picked up. And then Ginelli, who's been different class since he came on, very direct, you can see the run from Ginelli. Kingsley down the back, Julian can't get to him. And Ginelli is brave and following up. Four minutes of extra time. It's been quite the afternoon, and the final chapter hasn't been written yet. And it comes. Ooh. That's a nervy moment for the Celtic defence again from a free kick. As soon as Julian gave away the free kick, I'm thinking this will be interesting. And how kit? See him getting off it, Aya. Also two minutes, and then it's penalties. Unless, unless Rogic shoots. It's not far away, he's got history, he's got form for late winners in Scottish Cup Finals, not on this occasion though. And the Scottish Cup is going to be decided by penalties. Hearts won the trophy with their last shootout. And Stephen Naismith is there first, and D scores it. Yes! And he lets out a roar as well. Griffiths, who scored Celtic's third. Nets as well, as you would expect. Ah, so composed, wasn't he? And he scores two. Three excellent penalties thus far. And he scores two. They've been picture perfect so far in this shootout. Here goes Lee, and he is cool as a cucumber. Hearts have their lead back in the shootout. Ryan Christie's next for Celtic. He's been brilliant from the spot by and large recently. This time he's denied by Gordon, and Celtic's empire is at the risk of crumbling here. Oh, and Hazard pulls off a massive save! 
terrific there from the youngster. What a moment this is for Michael Johnston. And he nets. And it is 3-3. You miss now, you run the risk of losing the cup final. And White it has, it's Hazard again! It's just his third Celtic appearance. But he's put them to the brink of more history. Again, he keeps it out. I mean, showing great experience beyond his years, Connor Hazard. Christopher Iyer up against his former teammate Craig Gordon for the cup. And he's done it! He has done it! History! More history for Celtic Football Club! The relief is palpable at Hampton! Celtic quadruple treble winners! Four straight Scottish Cups! Twelve straight trophies! And there's just about enough medals to go around. And you can see what Neil Lennon means to these players. It didn't look like he was going to survive the last county defeat in the League Cup. And here he is. Right in the middle of it all. The history makers, the quadruple treble winners. Celtic football club. An incredible period in Celtic's history draws to a successful conclusion. Celtic are Scottish Cup winners for a fourth successive year.